Rajampat, the lost paradise. A unique place on earth, hundreds of tiny islands. White sand beach, blue lagoon. So romantic, isn't it? But we were not there for romance, we were there for... The name Rajampat means the four kings in Bahasa Indonesia and comes from a local myth. One day, a woman and her husband found six dragon eggs in a river. They took them home and in the middle of the night, the eggs had hatched and gave them four boys and a girl. The four boys became kings. Wa was the king of Waigeo. Bitani ruled Salawati. Doa was king of Misol. And Muhammad was the one of Batanta. Do you want to know what happened to the girl? Read our blog. The link will be below. Nowadays, Rajampat Archipelago is part of the West Papua province and cover over 1,500 islands. Situated in the Coral Triangle, it shelters 75% of the world's marine spaces. A true paradise for scuba divers and snorkelers. It was our second time in Rajampat. And this time, we decided to explore central Rajampat, based on Cree Island. Rajampat is not a cheap or affordable dive destination. Diving in paradise as a coast, as paradise, is far from everything. You have different options, liveaboard, homestays, or resort-based. Nils and myself, we really enjoy a good meal and a hot shower after a day of diving. So homestays were not really an option for us. And we went in Rajampat during the COVID-19 pandemic, so we could enjoy some pretty sweet deals. We decided to book at the best resort of the area, the Sorido Bay Resort. The choice of Sorido Bay Resort was not a coincidence. It was our dream. Sorido Bay is owned by Max Hammer, the pioneer of diving in Rajampat. He founded in Papua Diving 30 years ago. If you want to know more about Papua Diving and how Max and his staff managed during the pandemic, watch our documentary Sweet and Sour, a story shared by many. You will find the link just below. Sorido Bay is a perfect getaway for divers. Perfectly blended in its environment, surrounded by the song of the forest, each bungalow is handcraft made with everything you need for your comfort, included a camera rinsing tank and a camera station. In front of the bungalow, you have direct access to the beach and the lagoon with baby sharks passing by and a lot of life. It is just incredible and once again, so romantic. As a result, we were welcomed by Chris and his wife Jade. And I will take this time to say thank you to all the Sorido Bay staff. The food was amazing, the service was great and our stay went super smooth. I would like to thank you guys for that, because we know how difficult it was. 
we arrived at Sorido Bay Resort on a Saturday. And on Saturdays, there is no diving, as the resort staff is Seventh-day Adventist. So we decided to explore the island. In the afternoon, we went on the Red Bird of Paradise trip. If you want to see more about the Birds of Paradise in Papua, subscribe to our channel, as one of our next episodes will be fully dedicated to these amazing birds. In the evening, at the dinner table, we met the local couscous, and he loves bananas. But now, it's time to go diving. And what are the diving conditions in Rajampat in December? The conditions were pretty good. The water temperature was around 29 degrees. Most of the time we had no wind, so the sea was quite flat. It was sunny during the day and a bit of rain during the night. The only thing was the visibility. In average, we had 15 meters visibility. Sometimes less, sometimes more. But it is because in December, the water is loaded with plankton, and that's attract big plankton feeders, like whales or mantas. To have a good diving experience in Rajampat, you need a guide who knows how to dive Rajampat the currents, the tide, the moon phase. On some dive sites, you can have the most incredible dive or the worst dive ever, depending where you jump. Luis, our Papuan guide, did an amazing job. Just check this out. And the best was yet to come. Celine and I have been together for a few years now and I'm looking for a special place to propose. And when we were planning our trip to Rajampat, I already bought the ring and I just needed the perfect location. I was in contact with Jay to organize the surprise and finally Christmas Day had arrived. And what an amazing day! In the morning we were greeted by a little couscous just outside our bungalow, which is very rare because normally they are nocturnal. And on our way to the dive site, a dolphin swam alongside the boat and even a humpback whale showed up. And during the dive we saw one giant manta. Every time, just one. It was like nature was trying to bless us on this beautiful day. In the afternoon, it was time to get on the knee and say the words. We arrived on this beautiful little island with a picnic basket and champagne. I got on my knee and asked Celine, do you want to marry me? And I say yes, 1000 times yes. And we live happily ever after.
Next week, follow us in our next adventures, deep in the forest of West Papua. We are going to fulfill a lifelong dream in the search of the mythical birds of paradise. Would you like to follow this ultimate quest? Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and see you next time.